Okay, so here we see an alert slider coming up in the bottom right of the screen and that's going to show up periodically and show you the events that are um, set for today as well as upcoming. If you click on the alert slider it will actually bring up your reminder list window. So as you're browsing, another way that you're um, reminded as you're just going through uh, your business is there will be alarms that will pop up periodically that you have set. So here we've got an event for uh, mom and dad's 38th anniversary. And you see here it shows the description, the date, and the time, and it would show any notes. Here we've got a list of actions that we can perform on it. We can actually open up the event. Uh, we can acknowledge it, delete it. We can also snooze an event for a particular number of minutes, or we can actually set a date that we want to be reminded of it next. So let's say, hey, how about you remind me on the 22nd at 5 p.m.? And you see it, the little snooze until tooltip at the bottom um, shows us when we'll be snoozed uh, and when we'll be reminded next. So we'll click snooze and then we're good. So that's sort of uh, the two ways that you're uh, alerted about particular reminders. Alert sliders and alarm pop-ups. Let's take a look at some of the other things that you can do inside of the reminder list window. There's a number of columns that you can actually set to display more information. Here we can show any reminders that have notes on them. Uh, we can actually see the categories associated with the reminders that we've set. Let's actually close the calendar here so we have a little more real estate to work with. We can show um, the events that have been completed. And actually the cool thing here is you can actually click in the completed column and you see that it's sort of toggling on and off the uh, completed status for reminders. We can show the time for any events. I like to keep that showing. Um, any events that have alarms, if you hover over that alarm icon, it'll show you um, when that alarm is set to go off next. And you can deselect any of the, the columns that you're not interested in as well. So if you go to the To Do's tab, that actually has a uh, separate um, list where you can set the event, the uh, columns that you're interested in for to-dos. I like to show the, the date for my to-dos as well as the completed date. So you can see this was completed on the 18th. It wasn't due until the 25th. So good job there. And these um, columns will be saved and persisted across um, every time that you close and reopen your reminder list. So you only have to set them once to get them how you're interested in them. You can actually drag the columns around. You see I moved the date. I like to keep the checkbox up front here so I can quickly um, check off events. Some of the other things that you can do inside of the reminder list uh, is you can actually select multiple items and select a context menu. There I selected important and you see that it toggled the important status for everyone that I have been selected. You can copy or select multiple events and click delete to do things uh, in a sort of in a batch process. You can also select any of the um, events or any of the actions from the calendar context menu. Another interesting thing is these views. So we click on the magnifying glass and it brings up the view editor. So let's create a new view. So let's say we want to show a view for birthdays. So we're going to say um, Show me anything that has a categories marked for birthday. Okay, so that's actually created a new, what we call a view. So if we select the birthdays, that's only going to show the reminders that are marked for birthdays. So you can sort of create views for any of your, any of your um, calendar lists. So let's create another birthday event just to show you um, how that works. We'll create one for Tanya's birthday. Uh, my wife here, so we'll be um, generous with her, her birthday. Put uh, 1980. That makes her, yeah, that makes her pretty young. So we'll say repeat yearly, and we'll set the birthday category. Yeah, her 21st birthday. Good deal. So when we select the, the birthday view, um, it's only showing things for birthdays. 
the same thing for to-dos. Um, we can actually show the same view there as well. We'll turn it off. So you can sort of independently set your views on your reminder or your um, to-do list. So just another way of filtering your events.